get the super and the forklift. <laughs> Armanın baba nerede çarşafım gördüm It is no secret that there is a certain click in the car community that put down their lives, parents' bank accounts, and financial stability for personal gain. They go above and beyond for the sole purpose of achieving this one crucial factor that dictates so much in the current scene. And for what? What's gained? Money? Fame? Maybe. But that's not the be-all end-all for a lot of these fellas who strive. See at the teat for this one important, almost unattainable goal in mind. You might be asking yourself, what could be so utterly important that a brainlet is willing to put their lives down to achieve said thing? You know what it is? Internet cloud. I'm back guys. We're back. We're making videos again. It's been a year at least. But I'm ready, dude. I feel refreshed. I feel good. I feel excited to make a video. It's been so long. I haven't... It boggles my mind. When I told my friends I was going to make another video, they were like, Aw, oh, dude. We're supporting you 100%. You should totally do it. So. So. You might be saying to yourself, Steven, this is quite a different change of pace from what you usually do. What is this, a commentary video? What are you, a commentary channel? You making commentary videos now? No, I'm not. Um, maybe, I don't know. But, uh, it's definitely something different, I agree. I feel as though I wanted to come back with a banger. Just put a slanger, you know, slangin. And I feel like this is a great way to do it. It's still kind of a tutorial video, and it's been, I don't know, a couple minutes in. We haven't even gone to the tutorial aspect of it. But here it is. We're going to start the tutorial, fellas. How to get clout in the car community. Now, as you guys could tell from the intro video, we had a couple of clout boys in the first couple of clips, right? You know, doing wacky things. Just silly, silly things. You know, uh, for that internet for them internet points, for that internet cheddar, you know? Because what's more important? Uh, doing smart, sensible things that you actually like or being act like a complete retard online for views? The viewership's more important, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to tell you how to do what they do, but better and be better. All right. Step one. Step one on internet cloud ship in the car community, sell your soul. Sell your fucking soul. Forget who you are as a person and be a new demoralized dick. It's that easy. Just be an obnoxious cunt. And I promise you that's gonna get you above most of the people who still have their sense of pride and morale, sh sh morale, sh morale ship. Mm-hmm. Sell your soul. What do I mean by that? Steven, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean sell your soul, man? I don't want to sell my soul. I don't want to change who I am as a person. I like I like me. I'm, I'm at peace with me. I love me. You shouldn't because you're fucking stupid and that's why you haven't blown up online yet. That's why I haven't blown up on online yet. Look at me. I say I'm a great guy. I have cool cars. You know, I make quality content clearly. Yeah, so this is an angle grinder. And I'm just gonna angle grind it off, so you know her little her little pussy hanging out her dress here. Would so what gives? Why have I not blown up onto the plane of existence that is internet fame? Because I haven't sold my soul yet. What do I mean by that? Well, easy. Do stuff that you wouldn't normally do ever because it's entertaining, or there's a shock factor to it. 
you know, like um, doing a backflip off your 350Z and smashing it in your rear windshield. <laughs> or uh, getting a fire extinguisher and extinguishing the inside of your car because your shit's hot. Or uh, put a crackle tune on your stock VQ and make it shoot gnarly flames out of your tome. Mm pa 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 pa, you know, mm pa mm pa mm pa. That's pretty cool, you know. And maybe you actually like that. And if you actually do like that, well, power to you. You know, you're already ahead. You don't gotta feel like less of a person for doing it. Or buy a car that you don't really like. Let me rephrase. A car that you wouldn't normally buy, you know, something that is publicly accepted, you know, like a, a, a VQ, an FRS, a BRZ, a Toyota 86, any Japanese clunker will do, any old Japanese polish shit will do that's overcharged like a motherfucker, that'll do just fine. Um... If you're not a Japanese guy, and if you're more into the Euro scene, you could always get uh, a Volkswagen. You know, maybe like a Mark IV or V, maybe even six. you know? And if you're really trying to drain the bank account, you might even get a seven. So basically, get a car that you don't like, but you know you could fuck up for the cheap. Or not even for the cheap. Just get a car you know you could fuck up and make look cool. And th that's it. Step one done. You got the car. Now what do you do with it? Well, that move moves us on to step two. Step two of the matter is modification. How do you modify this beast so that people like it? People flock to you, right? Two word. Two words. Wheels and low. Wheels. Reps. Reps all the way. Reps will do it. Low. Doesn't fucking matter. As long as it's lower, you, 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 you could be on spacers. Spacers? You could be on washers and you'll be fine. You know, like washers, like the little fucking things. Yeah, you could be on washers. If it's low, it's low. That's all you need. That ends our modification list. You know, of course, and there are the guys who are performance oriented who do have an online public following. Of course, I'm not saying they don't. Okay, give it up for the fast boys. But. That's hard, isn't it? It's easier to make your car look cool. You know, you don't have to worry about it breaking down as much, you know, less stuff to break. So, yeah, let's just stick to visual aesthetic mods that add no performance gain whatsoever, but they look sick. Step three, start a TikTok. Make cool edits of your car with some cool, trappy underground music. You that's that's fucking cool and added point if you like sometimes do like depressing videos with like some depressed sad boy music with some depressed sad boy font over top god that's so cool people love that shit people eat it up okay because like you have you already because again we, we've already gone over the, the, the you, you you have the car you've lowered it on your reps and now it's time to get it out there into the public eye. And TikTok's a great place to do that. Because, you know, there's so many young, impressionable 16-year-olds to 19-year-olds to 25-year-olds, just idiots. You know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be too harsh on the TikTok people. I shouldn't be. But I have yet to see quality automotive TikTok content. So... You know, but yeah, you know, they'll eat that shit up, dude. Like flies to shit. They, just, nom, 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 nom. they gobble it up. It looks cool. Looks, sounds nice. You know, cool songs. You know, you, you'll get some sort of garn, some sort of fucking attention. I personally don't have a TikTok because I don't groom minors. Step four, get an underage girlfriend. You might be asking yourself, whoa, was that legal? No, but. Uh, it helps. Don't ask me how it helps, but I'm, I promise you, dudes who gang stock their old high school for sophomore chicks, dude, they blow up. They do. 
they blow up. I promise. So get yourself your underage girlfriend and your sick FRS. Or Focus ST, really, I guess, yeah, Focus ST. Underage girlfriend, Focus ST. Combine them, you're done, dude. Easy, easy peasy. All right, imagine. You know, babe, I was thinking, maybe later, once, after I pick you up from daycare, we can go make some TikToks. What do you, what do you think, babe? <laughs> Cool, babe. Oh. <laughs> you like that? Hmm? That was pretty cool, wasn't it? So, I, I think that's... I think it's painfully obvious that you do, in fact, have to get an underage girlfriend if you want to blow up. Step five. Cool stickers, you know? Um, something edgy, maybe a little dark, you know? But something that youth can relate to, like, um underground menace in a, a sickening maybe blood dripping font on the bottom you know or um dark side riders you know that's edgy that's hot that goes hard you know like imagine you know like, like imagine like it's like it's like an e, if an e-boy was a sticker you know like take your average looking e-boy and put him through a sticker generator and whatever pops out, put that shit on your car. Put it on your windshield, put it on the side, dude, whatever. Some broken hearts, you know, sad boy. Or like some crescent moons, maybe some half moons, maybe even a full moon if you're feeling spry. That would be cool. I would rock that. You know, any, any, any stupid stickers will do. Step six, start a car club. Start a crew. Mm-hmm. That helps. That helps a lot. Um, there's a lot of crews out there, you know. And usually they last for so long. They last for years. Easy. Because they're all... They all have one mentality. They want... Their morals are high. And they don't care about online presence. They, they're just out to have fun and enjoy their time with the boys. That's, in case you didn't notice, that was sarcasm, okay? They don't give a fuck about that. They don't give a fuck. A flying fuck. They want two things. Fame and clout. That's it. So start a car club, dude. And again, name that something edgy, too. You know, like, imagine the stickers, okay? We have the, uh, here's the dark side I don't want to use dark side. Moonlit fascists. Moonlit fascists. That's my new car club name. Moonlit fascists. If you want to join, uh, send your resume down below. I'll let you in regardless, dude. I don't care. I really don't care. You can you could be driving a base model Eclipse. I, like I don't give a fuck. As long as you're repping my my sticker, dude, you're in. But we're exclusive though. Moonlit fascists is exclusive. So you gotta talk to me personally first. I'm the founder and the CEO of this car club. So you gotta talk to me or else you're out. But I'll let you in regardless. So it doesn't even, doesn't even fucking matter. So stupid. And that's it. That's it, dude. That's it. You're in. You now have a thousand followers on Instagram and 24,000 followers on TikTok. It's that easy, I promise you. You know, just... Simple steps, you know, small things lead to big goals. So, yeah, you're welcome. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. This is, um, post-edit Steve. I'm editing the video right now as we speak. Um, just wanted to say, you know, thank you for joining me. Thank you for sticking around to the end. I apologize for the big big break i took you know i know i uh i've had a lot of you waiting you know wondering where i'd make my return and here it is you know i'm not trying to you know what the fuck is the word compare myself to jesus like the second coming 
but like close second, definitely. And I feel like we're actually gonna blow up now. I, I, I feel it, guys, you know? This isn't all just for the money, by the way. It's not all about the money or the fame for me. Like, you know, I wanna make YouTube videos because like, I think it's cool. Uh, so yeah, no, thanks for sticking around, and, you know, I hope you all know, you know, this is all in fun, you know, just jokesters, we're, we're some jokesters out here, you know, poking fun at, uh, certain things, you know, I just feel like I need to throw that out there in case anyone actually gets upset about what was said, um, primarily the certain topic, um, but again, you know, all jokes, dude, you know, uh, don't 100% mean any of it. Close though, like dangerously close. Like you know, I'm, I'm at my fucking edge with some of it. But yeah, that's it, dude. You know, thanks for sticking around. It means a lot. And let's, let's let's shoot for the moon, man. You know, let's get them likes up. Let's get them subscribers up. Yeah, I I'm, I'm in it to win it this time around. I swear to God, I'm gonna have a, uh, a, a an actual uh, like posting schedule. No, I fucking won't. But you know the fuck going on, bro. Drop on that dash is digital. Put a drop on your back is critical. All this money ain't changing shit. I'll be trapping and run out the decimal. My bitch, that's what you're trying to get into. So I'm busting a nut in the dental.